So I'm gonna start out today's review with a bit of a confession. See, I wasn't gonna review Dead Space this week. That wasn't the plan at all. But that's what's happening, obviously, as you have probably gathered from the title and icon and basically everything about this review that you know so far. But that's not what I meant to review. I meant to review an entirely different game that is basically impossible to review, as I have determined, because of issues that I have run into. See, um, do you guys remember when I was um, doing that whole, send me those codes from the Dorito bags in Mountain Dew so I could win an Xbox One and in, in exchange you guys would get a free micro review? Well, I've done all those except one. It was one person who has not received their f review for doing that for me. You know, and I obviously have to make good on all the, all those things because I'm not a dick. Um, so, but the thing about this person's request is that they requested an RPG. And the thing about the micro review format is it doesn't really lend itself very well to RPGs. Um, because, you know, it's it's supposed to be a quick, you know, overview playing like maybe an hour's worth of a game and, no, and nothing more. RPGs are too in-depth for me to make fair, fair judgments on them with that, you know, you know, little amount of gameplay. So that's why, you know, from now on, I, I t tell everyone, if you're going to request a micro-review, don't request an RPG. Um, but because he had put in his request prior to me making that rule, I felt it wasn't fair for me to ha force him to change what he wanted me to review. So I decided to bump him up to a free full review, just because, you know, the circumstances weren't really in his favor and I felt kind of bad. So I just said, you know what, the hell with it, I'll give him a full review because he didn't know, I didn't know, you know, and there we go. But apparently, this person is like cursed or something, I, I don't know, in terms of getting his review because um, when I went to finally record footage for this game, uh, Threads of Fate, uh, for the PS1, I um, ran into a little oof, problem. Namely that the game was basically virtually utterly unplayable uh, due to invisible walls that I, I'm not even sure why they exist because apparently this the glitch doesn't exist in the regular game So I am only left to determine that this is an issue with emulating the game and not with playing it on a regular console Which is weird as shit to me. I've never seen this kind of bug in an emulator before I I've never even experienced anything remotely like this and the hell of it is, I tried really hard. I actually found a way past the walls. If you if you try hard enough, with patience and persistence, you can push through them. I don't even know why they're there. But I finally had to call it quits when, you know, as part of the tutorial level, I had to use magic. And of course, the, the there was a wall in between me and the enemies that I couldn't shoot magic through. So I was basically screwed at that point. I mean, it, this is ridiculous. So unfortunately, that review is going to be put on hold again until I figure out how to record the damn game. Um, he has offered to send me a pirated version of the game. I just need a modded PS1, which I don't have, so that's not going to work. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, I might be able to use a different emulator. Maybe it's just this particular emulator that I'm using is caused the problem, so I can probably try to switch emulators and see if that'll fix it, but for now... We're skipping ahead and we're reviewing Dead Space that's rock. You know, when I sat down and played Dead Space, I wasn't... I mean, I kind of knew what to expect, but um, I, I didn't know what to expect at the same time. And I'd heard a lot of different things, and, and after playing it, I've determined that all but one of those things are blatant, rampant lies, and you should all feel terrible about yourselves. See, I heard a couple things, like, oh, this is Resident Evil 4 in space. No, it isn't. Don't you lie to me. Uh, or, oh, this game is really scary. No, it isn't. Don't you lie to me. Um, and this other thing, you know, I was giving the overview because the third thing, the thing, the thing that I heard that, that, that turned out to be right, uh, I'll give you the overview of the game to, to, to determine that. See, uh, see, Dead Space is a game that takes place in space. You know, kind of like System Shock 2. 
And it's a horror game, you know, it's supposed to be scary. Kind of like System Shock 2. And, you know, it takes place on a derelict ship that's overrun by an alien menace. Kind of like System Shock 2. I'm gonna stop right now, and, and, and you know, I'm not saying that Dead Space is a bad game, it's not. It's really not. Um, it's just, I hate it. Yes, that is what that is what we're going with. It's not that it, it's not that I think it's a bad game. It's that I absolutely hate it because it it's not that it rips off System Shock 2. And in fact, it's just that it it basically is System Shock 2 with a few minor differences. In fact, there are exactly three differences between this game and System Shock 2. To begin with, the character names are all changed. You know, that's that's obviously a big difference. I mean, that's kind of a given. Okay, you know, I, I don't even feel like counting that, but you know, we'll count it anyway. We'll give it that. Second of all, the game has an over-shoulder perspective instead of a first-person perspective, so that's a difference, and I'll give it that. That's a fairly notable difference. That the game's you know gameplay style is basically completely different. So there's that to say. You know, I mean, the perspective is different. And the third thing is that there's no showdown in Dead Space. <laughs> Look at you, hacker. A p p pathetic creature of meat and bone. Panting and sweating as you run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? So, you ripped off everything about System Shock 2 except the best thing about System Shock 2. Okay. You know, I, I really, you know, I, I tried really hard to like it, but I love System Shock. I love both the games so much. And, and, and playing this, I'm just like, I would rather be playing System Shock right now. Because it does everything System Shock 2 did, just just not as good. And and that that's what bothers me about it. And again, I, I, I'm just trying to stress here, I don't think Dead Space is a bad game. I don't. I, I just really wish it was more original. I, I wish it wasn't... I wish it was doing its own thing. I mean, in many ways, it's more of a rip off of System Shock 2 than Bioshock is, which is really bad because Bioshock was supposed to be a spiritual successor to System Shock. So, when you've taken more elements from a game than the game that was supposed to take elements from the game, I don't know how to possibly defend you at that point. But 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 for the sake of this review and the sake of actually giving it a fair overview, you know, you know, besides. You know, if we, you need to take, take and put System Shock out of our minds for a second because, you know, games have ripped off other games and been good. You know, like, I really liked Dante's Inferno, even though it ripped the crap off of God of War. It doesn't necessarily make games bad, it just makes them unoriginal. But unoriginality isn't necessarily bad, and just because this bothers me doesn't mean it's going to bother the rest of you. So, I'm going to, for the sake of reviewing the game, I'm going to completely forget about the System Shock thing. And we're just gonna go and review the game off its own merits. Let's take a look at just graphics and sound to begin with. Voice acting and sound effects are really good. And graphics are pretty good for the time. I don't think that the game's aged very well in terms of that, but graphics almost never do, so I can't really, you know, knock too many points off because of that. For the time, the game looked pretty good, and, you know, th that's good. Gameplay is actually pretty solid, too. I mean, we have, you know, an over-the-shoulder view, and the over-the-shoulder thing is basically the only thing that is like Resident Evil 4. People keep saying it's like Resident Evil 4 in space, and I really don't agree with that at all, because, uh, uh just because of the way the game plays out. Yeah, it's over-the-shoulder, which is literally the only similarity between the two. The inventory system, the story, the setting, and how you enter engagements and handle engagements are completely different. It's nothing like Resident Evil 4 in that regard, because the thing about this game, getting into the gameplay for a second, is that you don't handle monsters like you did in Resident Evil 4. They, they really actually really bothered me about Resident Evil 4, is that it, it called itself survival horror, that's not really what it was, because it was way more combat heavy. It was more about just shooting everybody in the head. Whereas in this game, there are times where I've actually run away from a fight. Which is something in an action game you almost never ever do. Sometimes in this game it's actually better to flee, to not bother fighting with the enemies, because the enemies take a lot to take down. And that's where I think some people get some of the fear factor from, that these enemies don't necessarily go down as easy as you would expect. And, you know, you actually, it's actually, it actually is counterintuitive to what you would normally do, because the game says early on that in order to kill these things, you actually have to delimb them rather than hitting their bodies, which is like the exact opposite of what you would do in any other game. You actually have to fight yourself for most of the game because you don't 
you know, you want to shoot them in the body, but you can't because it won't work. You know, it, it, it sort of, it sort of, it sort of throws you off in that regard. And there's a lot more depth to the combat. You know, when you actually do fight, I mean, it's not just you know, you know, aim and shoot like an RE4. You know, you have options. You have, you know, your 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 spatial distortion. You have your, you know, your telepathic, you know, abilities that can throw things at enemies. I mean, there's a lot more to do. And there's a lot more options in Dead Space when compared to RE4. So you have to th keep that in mind. Now, I just kind of praise the game on its survival horror aspects in terms of the fact that you don't have you have to run away sometimes. And you might think, does that make it a good survival horror game? Well, no, because that would play the game is actually scary, and it's not. See, the big problem with this game is that it, it, it doesn't really scare you in the proper sense. Like, people run through and it's like, ah, oh, it's so scary, but like, there's almost nothing but jump scares in this fucking game, and I hate that so goddamn much. I mean, it's not as bad as an Outlast. Jesus Christ, Outlast was terrible with that. But the pro my problem with the game is that, though there are fewer jump scares, I mean, there's, there's plenty, but there's fewer than an Outlast, but I guess it's not saying much. In this game, the jump scares aren't even good, and, and that's what really bothers me about it. Like, like there was never a jump scare that actually got me. You know, I, I you know, I, I ran around a corner like, oh, an enemy jumped out. Like, oh, I, I did, I expected that to happen. You know, like I'm always expecting crap like that. Like, no, nothing came out that I wasn't expecting to happen. You know, it, it, it it's one of those things. It, you know, and, and none of the jump scares really, really got. You know, did did enough good job. So, not only are we are establishing that the game isn't scary because it's just jump scares, but the jump scares aren't even that good. So, you know, in terms of being a, you know, a horror game, I don't think the game does very well. I mean, it's plenty disturbing. I'll give it that. It's very disturbing. Like, especially when we get to the, the, the dead babies, because I gotta say, I didn't really need that, alright? There's a... There, there are many things in this world that I need. That is... That is not even remotely even close to that list. I, I just want to throw that out there, because holy shit game, that was so unnecessary, you would not believe. To continue, uh, back into the sc scary bit, there was there were a couple times where the game did scare me, but that's only because it put me in very, very specific circumstances. You guys are going to laugh at me, um, because this is going to sound like the exact opposite of what you would expect. Um, but uh, I, um, there's a thing in a game that I really, and I really hate it when games fucking do this. It's when, it's when a game puts you in the dark, like the complete dark where you can't see. But not only that, putting you in the dark where there's something in the dark that you can't see. I fucking hate that. And I hate it when games do that. I, I hate it when games put me in a situation where I can't see what I'm supposed to be fighting. And I can hear it out there, I can hear it moving, but I can't see it. That. That actually kind of freaks me out. Okay, and it was the only time where the game actually kind of scared me. All right, all right, I'll give it that. So it it has it has the right idea sometimes, but it just doesn't execute it very well. Uh, and I haven't even talked about the story because I really don't want to talk about the story because the story fucking sucks. You know, and I was trying to like it. I was, but I don't care. The story's terrible, and I'll tell you what. It's because it is. Well, not only because it's kind of taken it from System Shock 2 to a certain extent, but it's it also the most predictable thing. I, 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 let me just throw it out there. Okay, look, you mean, okay, a spoiler warning on this, okay? But you mean to tell me that the, that the, that the one chick who is acting, acting, you know, all overly scared, who then disappeared for a while, but then magically showed up again with all this information on what you're supposed to be fighting? Oh, she's not gonna betray you later? Oh. Oh, she's not gonna do that game. Oh, it's okay, I trust you. Uh, this this doesn't sound like a setup at all. Like it's it's just so predictable. It does exactly what you expect it to do at every single turn, and that is terrible for a plot. There's nothing wrong with plots being cliche, but there's, just, but there's a difference between being cliche and predictable. And this game is extremely predictable. So in terms of a story, it fails, and that's really bad because. The survival horror games kind of operate off of stories to a certain extent. Like, the only exception to that rule I can think of is System Shock. But even System Shock really, really, well, A, had a really good story on top of it, but it, was, wasn't, it, was, it wasn't really that much of a survival horror game. I mean, it was to a certain extent, but not really. Here, you know, it's just like, it just does everything you'd expect it to do, and then there are times in the game where it... Okay, there was this occasion where I was doing something really stupid, and you might be saying, well, if you were doing something stupid, how is this the game's fault? Let me explain. Alright, 
What happened was I, 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 I saved in the middle of a mission and then I reloaded. And the game has a really, really good system that will tell you where to go at any given time, which is mind-bogglingly useful. I love this thing because I hate getting lost in games. And it's basically impossible in Dead Space, or you, so you think. But, but the thing about this was for some weird reason, it ch whenever I reloaded the game, it changed the direction on this radar thing that tells you where to go so that it was actually leading me away from finishing the objective. And granted, I was only, you know, in a, in a one thing away from finishing it. I don't even know why I didn't bother finishing it before I saved, but I did. Um, so I was trying to go back the other direction. The thing about this game is that I figured out it's got forced linearity, where you actually won't be a, permitted to go in certain directions until you've done certain things, and I always, always hate that in games. I don't know why developers think that's a good idea, because for some reason, it, it was like this, this, there's this lift you have to take, and you can't take it until you finish the objective. You can't. There's just, there's no way to. It won't work. You might know, be saying, well, you were going the wrong way. I don't know why you're complaining. Well, A, I thought I was going the right way, so I thought the game was bugged. Plus, B, the game was telling me to go that way, so that was annoying. But C, let me mess up. I was doing something stupid, let me suffer for it. You know, I don't want the game to hold my hand all the goddamn time, especially when it's misleading me, because that's really fair. Thank you for that. I don't know why that's a, that, that's a thing. I just, I just feel like it could have been programmed better in that regard. And you might be sitting there saying, you're bitching about this game a lot. Are you sure you think it's a good game? I do. You know what? Because at the end of the day, it is fun. You know, there's lots of different weapons to try. The environment's, you know, well-designed and, you know, spooky. I mean, there's a lot to like about the game, but... And you know what else pissed me off the enemy variety? The enemy variety fucking sucks. I mean, you always face these stupid things with the claws coming out of their back, and they're scary at first, but then you face them over and over and over and goddamn again. And then later, it's like, oh, dead baby's great, because I really needed that. And then they bring out the claw guys again, but oh, oh, they're fat now. Okay, that's great. Thank you, game. And it really never gets any better from there. I, you know, like, like there's other enemies later on there are, but like, the enemy variety is really limited. And But I mean, in fairness, the game did let me have a flamethrower. That was fun. I love flamethrowers. Now I can summon up my fiery rat and render this world into the pit of flame, turning it all into nothing but ash. Everything burns! Welcome to the world of fire! Right, so that was a little extreme, I, I will admit that, I apologize. Um, anyway, but Dead Space, it, it, it's flawed, it is, but it is a fun game. If you look past all the flaws I mentioned, and I know I mentioned a lot of flaws, it is a fun game at the end of the day. There is a lot to like about it. And hey, I've talked to people who say that they were scared by it, so maybe the fear, lack of fear thing is something for me. Maybe that's my problem, and not necessarily, you know, something that's gonna bother somebody out there. Maybe you will be scared by the jump scares. Maybe there will be times where the game, you know, kind of freaks you out. I mean, I mean, it's not perfect, but I think it's probably worth a play. If you haven't given it a try, I think you should. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna say everyone's gonna like it, because, um, not everyone is, but... I think it's worth a play. So with that, till next time, this is Darkness, and I bid you all a fond farewell.